In this video, I'm going to be introducing a free online course in artificial intelligence. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So the free online course that I'm talking about is called the Elements of AI, and it is produced by Finland, particularly by a company called Richter in collaboration with the University of Helsinki. And so this course is called the Elements of AI, and more than 550,000 people around the world are taking this course. And so let's have a look. So the course is offered in English as well as other languages as well. And initially the aim was to allow 1% of Finnish to learn about artificial intelligence. And such a great course has been picked up by people around the world. And it is a great opportunity in which people of all academic backgrounds, no matter if you're coming from outside computer science, such as biology or arts. And the thing is, you could learn about artificial intelligence. And so let's have a look at the details of the course. So some of the questions that you might be wondering has been included here. And these includes, are you wondering how AI might affect your job or your life? And the thing is, there's a lot of questions that goes around that one day AI or robots will be taking over our lives. And more particularly, that AI will be replacing us in our jobs. And another question might be, do you want to learn more about what AI really means and how it's created? Do you want to understand how AI will develop and affect us in the coming years? So these questions and much more will be answered through these two courses. And so let's have a look further. And so the aim of the course was to make AI accessible to the general public, particularly by allowing us to understand what can and cannot be done with AI, as well as how to start creating AI methods. And so the courses will combine theory together with practical exercises. And the great thing about it is that you could complete the course at your own pace. And so the elements of AI will be comprised of two parts and part one will be the introduction to AI and part two will be the building AI. In Introduction to AI, it is a free online course for everyone interested in learning what AI is, what it is possible, and how it affects our lives. And so this course does not require any programming or any background in mathematics. So feel free to explore this course if you're coming outside the field of computer science. And in part two, Building AI, it's going to be covering the algorithms that underlies artificial intelligence and so some basic Python programming is recommended. And so let's explore further in part one, introduction to AI. Let's have a look at the topics of the course. So the course is for free and you could feel free to sign up and then you could complete each of the courses at your own pace. And so upon completion of the courses of Element of AI, you will be issued a certificate that you could use to share your accomplishment. And let's take a look further. So in chapter one, you're going to be learning about what is AI, how should we define AI, the so definition of AI, related fields, and the philosophy of AI. And there will be end of section exercises or questions for you to do in order to evaluate your understanding of each of the sections covered. In chapter two, it's going to be on AI problem solving, and the section titles include search and problem solving, solving problems with AI, search and games. Chapter three, real world AI. You'll be learning about odds and probability, the Bayes rule, naive Bayes classification. In chapter four, it's going to be about machine learning and the section titles include the types of machine learning, the nearest neighbor classifier, and also regression. In chapter five, you'll be learning about neural networks. The first section will be about neural network basics. Section two, how neural networks are built and then advanced neural network techniques. In chapter six, it's going to be on the implications of AI and the sections covered will include about predicting the future, the societal implications of AI and also a summary. And so that's the first part. And let's head over back and have a look at part two, building AI. So this will be more of a hands-on and as mentioned previously, basic knowledge of Python is recommended. And so this will take approximately 50 hours to complete. 
Let's have a look at the description. Building AI is for anyone who wants to improve their AI-related vocabulary and skills, including non-programmers and people who can program in Python. And so by taking this course, you'll be learning about the possibilities that AI has to offer. And you could feel free to create an account or log in if you have already done so. So let's have a look here. In chapter one, it's going to be on getting started with AI. Section titles include why AI matters, optimization, hill climbing. And so you will see that you're going to be learning some of the fundamental concepts of AI. Let's have a look at chapter two, dealing with uncertainty. This includes the probability fundamentals, the Bayes rule, naive Bayes classifier. Chapter three, machine learning. Sections include linear regression, the nearest neighbor method, method, working with text, and also on overfitting. Chapter 4, you'll be taking a look at neural networks. Sections include logistic regression, from logistic regression to neural networks, and also deep learning. In Chapter 5, it's a conclusion, and sections include the summary and also your AI idea. So this is probably a project for you to do. Let's have a glimpse of this. Okay, so you'll come up with a project All right, and you'll also be able to share your AI idea if you implement it on GitHub. Okay, so this is a great way to get you started in artificial intelligence, particularly for those coming from a non-technical background. And as the course is available for free, it is a great opportunity to dive into the world of artificial intelligence. And so let me know in the comments whether you have heard of this course before or if you have taken the course already or whether you're planning on taking the course. And if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.